Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Kale Horvath and I'm a pastor and a missionary and today we are starting a series of tutorials on how to use the Bible software program eSword. Now, I'm not going to be going into detail on how to download it and how to open it and set it up. I assume that's something in 2021 most of us can do. And so just Google eSword, go and find it. If you have PC or Mac, download it and then open it up and then that is where we will begin. All right, so we've got eSword open now, and when I open it up, I've got my Bible big in the middle of my screen here, which is what I like. I've got my other windows like commentaries and my editor and uh, dictionaries over here and my Bible navigation over here. You can actually set it up to be different ways. You can make it, you know, the Bible is the main part of your screen, commentaries, I'm clicking up here just on A, B, C, D. D for dictionary, E for editor, but I'm going to go back to the way that I have it set up. You can actually drag these around and click on the little docking panels to put these in different places, like I could make my dictionary down here, um, but you can figure that out on your own how you like it to look. But for now, I've got my Bible open. I'm going to start my Bible study, and what I want to do is figure out how to use the search function. That's the most important part of Bible study, right? Searching the words and seeing where God uses those elsewhere in Scripture and how he uses them. And so the easiest way is to go up here to the top left-hand part of my Bible window, of eSort. Click on the binoculars. As you see as I hover over that, that I can also press Control S on my keyboard, like so, to bring up that window, or I can just click on the binoculars. Now what that's going to do is bring up our Bible search window. I've got this area of the screen where I can type a word, and I've got uh, which Bible I can select what I'm searching in. I've got my KJV here. KJV plus is something else. We'll discuss that in a different video, or maybe I have a different language Bible. You may have many Bibles up here, um, but I'm a simple guy. I use my KJV. And then you've got some other functions over here that we'll talk about in a second. Now, what am I searching for? Well, let's say I'm doing a study on the devil and I'm in Job and I want to search for Leviathan and see where Leviathan is used. Now, I type it in here. I'm not sure how to spell it, but I do my best and I hit enter. Oh, and zero verses are found. Now, that could be for several reasons, but for now, let's just assume that I spelled it wrong. Well, here's a good way to check that. I can click the spell check button to the right side of that window, and I can see the suggestions. Now, it thinks that maybe I'm looking for this spelling, and I think that's probably right, so I'm going to hit change. Spell check is complete. Now it just substituted in the, uh, the new spelling with A instead of O, Leviathan, instead of Leviathan. I hit enter. And there we go. Now you can see that it that there's four references for Leviathan in the scripture, in Job, two in Psalm, and one in Isaiah. Now, if I search for something uh, that is used a lot more often, let's say I search for the word cleanse, because I'm going to do a study on Psalm 119, 9 through 11, right? And I want to see the word cleanse and how it's used elsewhere. And so I type it in and I hit enter and whoa, look at all these uses of the word cleanse. It's got the reference. I can hover over it and it gives me the full verse, which is already on my screen. But if I had that screen smaller, um, if I hover over the hyperlink there, it gives me the verse. But notice down here in the bottom left hand corner, this, these, uh, this information about my word search. I'm going to see that it's found in 32 verses. And the word is uh, found 33 total times. That's what matches mean. It's found 33 times in the Bible in 32 verses. So that means that the word cleanse is used twice in one of the verse. So if I scroll all the way to the bottom of my search results, I'll find this table. It's going to give me my search results again, 32 verses, 33 total matches. But then it's going to tell me the actual books of the Bible that it's found in how many verses in that book, and how many matches total in that book. That's a very handy thing to know as you're prepping your sermon or studying the Bible. Another interesting thing is that it's always going to give you the searches in order chronologically. And so the first time the word cleanse is used in the Bible is Exodus 29, 36. And if you're a Bible student, you know that the rule of first mention is important, setting up the connotation and the way that God uses that word through the scripture. So it's a very easy and quick way to find the first mention of a word or phrase by typing it in and searching. Now, 
What you'll also see is there's options beside the Bible search with this drop down menu. I have search for all of the words, search for any of the words, search for the exact phrase, or search for regular expressions. We'll get to that bottom one here in a second. But those first three, I can use any of those if I'm just doing a single word. Like let's, uh, <laughs> here's a tricky one. Let's search for the word rapture. Oh, it's not found. Zero versus found. Now, did I spell it right? Spell check. Yep, I spelled it right. Why isn't it found? Well, if you're a Bible student, you know the word rapture isn't in the scripture. The principle is the word comes from uh, a Greek root. Um, that's not important right now, but I just wanted you to see if you searched a word and were confused. Why isn't there? Maybe it's not used in scripture and we just find the principle. But let's do something else. Let's say we're doing a study on alcohol and so we want to search for the word drunk, right? And so I've got search for all of the words. That's fine. I could use any of the first three, really. Uh, if I'm just searching for one word. So I click it and I see all of these references. At the bottom, I see it's found in 30 verses and there's 30 total uses of the word drunk. But let's say I want to search for all forms of the word drunk, like drunken or drunkard. I want to see any use of the word drunk. Well, then what I would do is go to this drop down menu, click on regular expressions, and then I'm going to search the word. Now, we have 77 verses and 81 total matches because, see up here in the first hit, drunken, drunk, drunkard, drunkenness. And so what that's going to do is it's going to search for any form of that word using the root word that you search. So you can do that with anything. You could do that with sin. Let's search for sin, regular expression. How many forms? Wow, look, 1,218 verses, almost 1,400 matches found. Sin, sinners, well, this is, this is sometimes something you'll run into with short words. The S-I-N is found within the word blessing, so be aware of that. But that's okay, because I'm not looking for blessing. I'm looking for forms of the word sin. So I have got sinning. I've got the word since. That's not really something I need. Sin new. So if you use a smaller word, it might bring up way more results than you need. But let's try something a little bit um, longer. Let's try the word, uh, cleanse from Psalm 119 again and see what we get. Cleanse, cleansed. So we're getting the past tense now. Um, there's probably not too many forms of this word, but it, you, you get the idea. If I want to see different forms of the word and how many times it's used total, then I can select regular expressions. Now you don't want to select that unless you're doing that intentionally. Any of the other times, if you're doing one word, any of the top three is just fine. Now, if I'm going to search for a phrase, let's say I'm studying for that day or day of the Lord or born again or something of that nature. Let, let's do that. Let's do day of the Lord and let's uh, search it. Search for all of the words is what we'll start with. And that's going to bring uh, a lot of of results, 380 verses, 3,000 matches because I searched for four total words. But notice that it's not always all of the words together because what it's doing is searching for any time that in one verse all four of those words are used. And so that's not as helpful as I want. I want it more precise. And so if I search for any of the words, can you guess what's going to happen? Well, you can tell by my loading bar here, and I'm using a pretty decent uh, PC. Uh-oh, not responding. That means I've got a lot of things happening here. And so I don't want that. Oh, there we go. Almost 26,000 verses and 112,000 matches because I'm searching for any verse that has any of those four words in it at all. It can have just of or just the. So we don't want that. So... Let's try search for exact phrase. That's what we want. Anytime that it uses day of the Lord in that order, that exact phrase as I typed it. And now we have what I was looking for. 29 verses, 31 total matches. The first mention is Isaiah 2.12, the day of the Lord of hosts. And I can go through here and I can find some Old Testament prophecies about the day of the Lord. And as I navigate down to the New Testament, I can see where it talks about the day of the Lord 
even into the second Peter chapter three. And so that's very useful. Now you're not going to want to use the exact phrase. If you're doing something that's very practical, you're thinking of a verse, but you don't know where it's at and you don't know the exact wording, but because you've studied the Bible a long time, you know a certain part. Uh, let's say I'm looking for the verse that says study to show thyself approved. I know it's in one of the Pauline epistles. I'm not exactly sure. And I'm not sure of the rest of the wording of the verse. And so I'm going to try study to show thyself approved. And I'm going to click exact phrase. And now zero verses are found for several reasons. One, there's a typo in here. Let me correct that. But look, there's still zero verses found. Now there's still a typo in this verse. Now let's say that I don't realize that I typed show wrong and I'm like, okay, I can't find that exact phrase. And now I'm wondering if that is the exact phrase. So what I'm going to do is let's go to search for all of the words. I don't need the exact phrase. Let's just search for all of those words. Still nothing comes up when I search it. Okay. How about search for any of the words? Well, if I do that, I don't want to crash my computer because that's going to uh, pull up a lot of verses. So what can I do in this scenario? Well, what I can do is narrow my search results by only searching for the key words. So take out to take out thyself. I know that study is in there and I know that approved is in there, right? In my head, I'm thinking of this verse and I may not be exactly sure, but I know those two words are there. So let's do study and approved and search for all of the words, not the exact phrase, because study approved is not gonna be a phrase that I find and it's not in the verse that I want, right? So search for all of the words, enter, and there it is, 2 Timothy 2.15, study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. Now, the reason it didn't come up the first time was because I spelled show wrong. I didn't spell it in that old English version of shoe, S-H-E-W. And so that's, a, that's just a good example of something you might not be thinking of when you're trying to locate a verse. So narrow the search results, use as few keywords and important words as possible, and make sure you select search for all of the words. Another cool thing, let's just search for the word study. Study comes up three times. First mention is Ecclesiastes 12. Now what I can do is, let's do a different word. Let's do a word that's going to come up more often. Let's try faith. Now what I could do, faith has found 230 verses, 247 total times. I could... Uh, do the regular expressions and search for any form of the word faith. Now look at that. You're going to get faithful, uh, faith, faithfulness, faithfully. And there's 335 verses, 359 total matches for all forms of the root word faith. But let's just do search for all the words. But I don't want to search the entire Bible. I just want to search the Old Testament. Well, if I go up here to Bible, I can lower my search results. I can search just the Old Testament. I can get even more narrow and search just the first five books of the Bible and the Pentateuch or the Minor Prophets or the New Testament or just Paul's letters, just Gospels and Acts. See how that works? I can search just Revelation if I want to. Let's just search the Old Testament and I'll go back here and I'll enter. And there, the only two times the word faith is used in the Old Testament is Deuteronomy 32 and Habakkuk 2, 4. And so that's how you use the search function to search for phrases and for singular words. Now, I'm going to give you guys one more thing here. Let's go to let's go over to 2 Timothy 2:15. I'm doing that by just scrolling here on the Bible. Select uh, the book of 2 Timothy, selecting chapter 2, and here it is right there. Now I can go to verse 15 here and click on it and it highlights it. I've got my verse and I want to see the word study and where it's used in scripture, but I don't want to click up here and type and, and do all of that. So what I can do is I can just highlight this word or I could highlight a whole phrase if I wanted to. I'm going to highlight that word and I'm going to right click it and I've got all these options, but look at the first option. It says quick search on selected phrase. If I hover over that and go to this other side menu, I can select to search the entire Bible just the Old Testament, just the New Testament, or just the book of 2 Timothy. Let's do the entire Bible. It automatically opens up our Bible search window with the word study in there and gives us all of our search results as well as the stats. Just with a simple highlight and right click. I could do that with anyone. Let's go for Masteries up here in 2 Timothy 2.5. Masteries, right click, quick search, entire Bible. One time only in 2 Timothy 2. Let's try a more broad word. Let's try... Um, 
faithful. Here we go. Got to get the whole word there. Let's try faithful saying. Let's do that whole phrase. Quick search, entire Bible. Well, there you go. Four different times. This is a faithful saying. And you've got all the times that it's used. And I can always click on one of them. Let's go to Titus 3.8. See how I click on it, and I can look at the entire chapter there, read the context, see if that's the cross-reference I'm wanting. If it's not, I can go over here. Let's select 1 Timothy 4. Is that what I'm wanting? You see, okay, maybe that's the one I want, and so I've clicked on 1 Timothy 4. I hit OK, and now I've got 1 Timothy 4 here. And I can always navigate. If I go up here into the top left corner and hit this back button, it's going to take you to the previous chapter that you were in. I click it a few times, I get back to 2 Timothy 2, and now I'm back to where I began. Well, I hope that was helpful to you in learning how to use the search function in the free Bible program, eSword. We're going to be continuing with these short tutorials and learning how to use different functions for your Bible st study and how to prepare sermons. So I hope you'll keep checking back. Give us a follow and hit the notification button so you know when new videos come out. You can check the channel for other media, other tutorials, songs, and things pertaining to the Bible and ministry. Thank you guys so much for checking this out. We'll see you next time. God bless.